great day. My topic is maximizing your wealth. I wrote a little book years ago, and I, I didn't really publish it much for anyone, just some of my students, and I call it Caretakers of the Wealth. And the wealth is you. You are the wealth. And it's interesting, the word mind is like mind the mind, you see. And what happens in the mind are the thoughts. And fear-based thoughts are there to make you think you're poor, that you're helpless, to focus you on virtual reality as much as possible. You know, cartoons, um, everything artificial, Disneyland, you know, everything is artificial. Getting us further and further away from who we really are. So then we develop caricatures of ourselves. Uh, and you'll see that, you know, social media and all these different things that, that people, especially young people, and, so, well, we're eternal. I'm not a, I don't do age, no, uh, because I'm an eternal and so are you. So all of these limiting ideas or concepts that we've been taught to uh, accept and believe are very, very limiting and in a sense they destroy the wealth. And that how you destroy the wealth is you convince people that they are powerless and they're basically rule followers and order takers and all of this. And, and that's how you, others harness your wealth. And you want to keep your wealth for yourself. And when you keep your wealth for yourself, and if everybody kept their wealth for themselves, then they also share their wealth. And we all share our wealth, which is really the real secret of prosperity. Your gifts, your talents, your abilities, something that you make, you know, food that you cook. And, you're, and, and it's actually like becoming very s simple. And when you see that the people, you know, with uh, younger bodies in that sense, who their entire lives have been trained in school, television, media, all of this, to um, live in a reality that is uh, depowering them and sucking their life force. And you wonder, well, who would do that? And that's done to take your wealth and channel it to someone else so that you become then the wealth of others. That means that you, your work, your endeavor, uh, in these so-called money, you know, the, the, the idea of money is used. And if you want to increase your wealth, uh, it's to, you don't even have to really increase it. You just have to know it. And the wealth is you. And as a caretaker of the wealth, we're here to care for animals, just as animals care for us, ultimately. And this whole idea, people like for pets, like I read people taking monkeys from babies from their mothers, monkey mothers, so they could sell them as a, as a pet. Really? And they have a right to live their lives. I lived in India. Monkeys were everywhere. We didn't kill monkeys. No. And yeah, they're kind of a pest, but we're building houses where they had forests and where they lived because of the lack of conscious awareness of living in harmony with nature and with animals and with others and this how we lose our wealth and our eternal existence is by going against our divine nature and when we go against our divine nature we're there to harm exploit cruelty, um, killing of animals and humans and, and nature. And so what happens to what the person thought their wealth was, they have less and less. I was looked at some, some guy living, I don't know, Taiwan or somewhere or ever, in a little teeny closet in the wall that he had to crawl into and then his little place to live to do his job. And, you know, we'd say the planet's really overcrowded. It really is not. 
And what I've known, because flying all over the world and being over the, all over the world, even in India, most everything's just farmland. But they put everybody goes into cities, and then because with the hope of financial abundance for what? Well, so you have a nice house and nice living. I remember years ago when I was in Thailand and saw what they were doing with all of the child uh, slavery and sex uh, for uh, children and, and boys and girls, and their parents would actually put them into those uh, sex slave places in Bangkok and I don't know where else, but uh, because so then the parents could get money and they could live in a cement house where they were living can you imagine? In a fabulous little satch roof cottage right on the beach where you could pick coconuts off the trees and papayas and avocados and bananas and guavas and jackfruit and all that to get a cement building where now you're living completely devoid of the vibration of nature but we wanted to look like good enough we wanted to look like we had something so that's okay with our children and if you're a parent you really protect your child and what we do to protect them is to help them and it's best to be home schooled home educated no schooling educated and that you look to see what is that child interested in and then you you support that that they develop their talents their abilities and they always know who they are they're not just programmed to line up and not ask questions and to be tested on this or that and what that does is it drains a person of their creativity and their divinity so to increase our word wealth is to actually really know that you are a caretaker of the wealth and regardless of what you've ever been taught or trained to do in this world is is to go wait a minute this is who I am and and you establish yourself as basically a non-killing entity that means a divine being and you got all these people you got all these philosophy this is happening in the world and this group and that group and the politics and who's president who isn't president and I'm going to get you and we're going to get you here and there get right down to the base you killing animals you eating animals and you know how much human blood and 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 flesh is in products cannibalism yeah I'm telling you you're gonna say well I don't like you Terry anymore because I have to eat mine my blood I have to have it I had need it well toodaloodle and you'll be shipped off into the next virtual reality and your wealth is all sucked away from you because you made bad choices people say oh there's no good or bad oh really there's no good or evil really where'd you get that idea can't you perceive what's going on and yet at the same time don't let what's going on knock you off your center don't let it emotionalize you I'm into that fight and that fight and that fight and that fight you're dead because you've been victimized taken over and your wealth and 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 the wealth of humanity and and the and the wealth of nature is just sucked up and devoured by a few who have found out basically how to hide and how to manipulate humanity because they want to be liked they want to be like everybody else they want to fit in they've got their favorite actor singer all of this what about you singing and dancing what about you doing artwork what about you and your eternal existence. So this is really key to really know you have the wealth. Stop squandering it and giving yourself and your wealth to someone else. And when you own who you are, you become steadfast 
and you become strong and loving and is and here's the thing always in every choice is it from love and mercy or is it from fear and cruelty because you're doing it to yourself this is a really important moment and for you to make that choice within yourself because people are doing it all the time but you know, my tongue likes this my eyes like this my nose like this really you're serving your five senses of the body really oh that's interesting you have no idea who you are so center it's beautiful here be in yourself the wealth is in you start fresh today drop the guilt start now own your wealth and be a caretaker of the animals the children you see the earth all of this then you are living in paradise because the pleasure chest is in your heart yeah that's where the wealth is because you want to be happy so love you with all my heart